Hey guys, today I wanna to show you what it took to build Flair's house. It was about a little over a year, year and a half in the making. And this is a video to show you all the ups and downs of what it took, all the changes, which there were plenty of them. There's always situations which people call problems. I call them situations that we solved. So with that, I want you to take a look and enjoy the ride of what it took to build this beautiful house of Flair's here in the beautiful winter wonderland of Nebraska. It's a nice, crisp, early Monday morning. We're heading to the job site where we're building Flair's house. We've got the foundation in right now, and we have crews coming with huge semis full of what we call Flexicore concrete, which will create a basement underneath his garage. Uh, that's why it's kind of unique. People rarely do this. It is a little bit costly, but the benefits are you now have a huge room under the garage basically a concrete vault and with this economy and a market where it's hard to get supplies uh, i was pretty tickled that we're able to pull this off for andrew it's got anchors into the thing so when they set these chains up they can hook into it and then the rope is what they use to guide it they call that a tag line so you on that rope what's amazing as heavy as that is once it's off the ground you can take with hardly any pressure move that thing around so you got that'll help stop the swing and it helps guide it into place. Top one's squared off. This one's at an angle, and this one's at an angle, and those are angles. So you can even, if you don't have a square garage, not a problem. They can custom design these things to fit on the angles, which is pretty cool. So to me, this is one of the fun days of construction when you uh, are going at this kind of more of a commercial type level. You rarely get to see this stuff on residential construction, which makes it fun for me. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Look at that. Perfect. To, to Man. Thousands of pounds just... Look, it's just barely touching the wall. Those guys are good. But the crane operator is 60 feet away, and he's getting that specific, unable to get this huge hunk of concrete within a quarter of an inch of the wall without knocking it out. That's impressive. Now he closes in on it and he just slides it right down the wall. This angle piece is a little trickier than the square ones. Bunker. What? It looks so much bigger with the lid on. Like, so much bigger. Like, it looked big, and but now you've got an actual room. But does it seem taller too? It seems a lot taller, a lot taller. If there's a storm, you won't even know. No. My house could get blown away by a tornado and I don't think you would even know. No, this is still gonna be- It's still gonna be- It's still gonna be- <laughs> So next we start framing. Framing, framing. Next week we got the framers coming out, so there'll be all kinds of big semis bringing in all the lumber loads. Got this it. Is, this is not like one semi and we drop off. Yeah, it's semis. I imagine. Okay. gentlemen. I feel like I'm taking over Brad's channel right now. There's the man right here. Here I am. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I want to... A lot happened. I, went, I left for one day. These guys are out here laying wall. They're quick. They are. They're fast. Super so, fast. Right. But you do have a hole in the ground that we decided. Chad the Dirt Guy came up with this idea. Was so it really Chad? Chad could have, yeah. So he's, he's going to spend my money just like you are. Yeah. This is crazy. You, so, you Chad, and Banjo are yeah. just amazing. Yeah, Macy has nothing on these guys. No, nothing <laughs> at all. <laughs> so we're going to set a film this full of dirt. Uh, we're just going to cut a hole in the foundation. We got to talk about how we want to enter into your new walk-in gun safe. Yeah, I didn't know I was getting one of them. Yeah. It's like Christmas when you when you have Brad out here. He's like, hey, you want a walk-in gun safe? Yeah, I was wondering. I just think it was practical. Well, the hole's already here, so I feel I feel bad if we don't take it. Well, either we fill it full of dirt or we put a concrete lid on it. Flair has to have a walk-in gun I, safe. I feel like I have to, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. so. I think I want to do the one that's like a it looks like a bookcase. And you hit a button and it like like a hidden. You can do, do you that. Think we can do that. Uh, of course, you've got enough room. So, 
Keep I was actually video. kidding, but now nah, he's actually serious. Like, I'm like, okay, we got the walkout walls all framed up, and we're going to be taking all that lumber from the front yard, those floor trusses that we have designed. We'll be setting those here early next week. So, hope you enjoy. So the other day, I was out here, Andrew brought his backhoe, a uh, middle old mini excavator, and what was nice is that he was able to get a lot of this dirt removed because remember, this here is waterproofed, and we weren't going to waterproof this part of the foundation because that's the front stoop, but uh, he threw me a curveball and an opportunity we saw to make this into a gun safe. So now, I have to get the dirt out. We had, we had to wait till the ground thawed, so he was able to come in, get all the dirt out, and now I got my waterproofers, that will be turned all black tar here in the next couple of days. And then we, you know, I'll show you on top, we framed in that deck. So here's the front porch. As I walk out on, this normally would have been filled full of dirt. You can see how we framed out the edges. This will get waterproofed and then we'll pour concrete on top. So we will basically have almost like just a small inch and a half step into the house. So below here is Andrew's concrete gun safe. Let's walk through the front door. So here we are, big grand entry. We've got the vaulted great room ceiling, big cathedral ceiling in. Let's go take a look downstairs and see what other work has been done. So earlier this week, we were able to get the septic system in. You can't really fully appreciate it right now, but we'll show some video what it looked like. It's underneath these two round circles is a 2,000 gallon holding tank. And then that's what runs from the house to there. And from the 2,000 gallon, those lids runs downhill. You can see the dirt. That's where the laterals are for the septic system. What I'm checking on now is the plumbers were here all week doing their groundwork. We're coming into what Andrew's Four Seasons room. This will be opened up in and out. Will be a room for summer, winter, but if it's the summertime, you can open up all these glass doors and walk out to the pool. So this is the pool bathroom. All this piping's not too exciting, but it's in the ground. They did a great job. And as we spin around over here, you'll see right through the middle of the house is the main sewer line. And uh, as we all know, it's got to run downhill. Well, shit's supposed to run downhill, and that's what we got to make sure. So we now are underneath the front stoop. We uh, had to cut a huge hole. You can see this is a doorway. This foundation was uh, close to 10 inches thick. So when we cut the hole in this thing, a couple guys came in, dropped it all out. That's looking good. Oh, I thought one. you were slightly He's exaggerating when you said there's water in the basement. I was like, ah, oh, I'm sure there's some dribbles, but this is crazy. I gotta be careful, I don't step on some of these plumbing pipes, but see how deep it, oh my God. Whew, good thing I wore my high go-go boots. Yeah. So the rain last night, I think came through there. We gotta pump all this out. So Efron, I don't wanna go any further. I'm gonna throw my, now I'm stuck. Yeah. Sheesh, there's a lot of water. He's stuck. He's stuck Look bad. how much water is in I this. Know. You this got a river in your house. Red. We got to pump all this out. I think we can uh, run the hose and let's just go out that out way. Out that way? It's coming in there, so we don't want to go that direction. This, this is insane. a lake. My socks are a little wet. I <laughs> think it must have went over there. But it's just so mushy. Sucks, sticky. Sucks, yeah, sticky. Yeah, it sucks yeah. right in there. All right, I hear it. Is it going? It's going. It's working. Yeah, I should have brought waders. 
Yeah. I, I brought short boots. I was doubting the flood. I was like, oh, Brad's just, you know, Brad's, he exaggerates here and there. He's not exaggerating. I should have brought Them boots are almost not the deal. You see how squishy it is? Wow. Yeah, no. That, that was my back. Actually, this wasn't me backfilling. I'm not taking the blame. I didn't touch this spot. I backfilled over there. All right, so this is me, Brad. It's gonna take a look. You did good. <laughs> that little sump pump we just bought, it's very temperamental. It's got some dirt and mud. It's not pumping out as fast as we would like. So we brought in this big, uh, kind of a trash pump, if you will. Let's see what Beefcake Construction could do now. Fire in the hole. It's almost here. Jesus. Just about died. That was funny. Yeah, yeah, you like that? <laughs> That'll get it done in a hurry. That'll help. That'll go a lot faster. Yeah. Well, and we got the garden hoses still going. Look at this, by the way, look at this. There's a literal pond on one of my terraces. So we can stock some fish in that later, I guess. But. Almost there, you can see we got just this little bit of water left. Efron's been filling the hole right behind us. Look how red my arm is from uh, that freezing cold water. This was not in the brochure for uh, for being a home builder. No, no. no. <laughs> Are you getting this? <laughs> you having a good time over there? No. How are you gonna get back? Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, Max. Oh, there Whoa. Perfect, man. Yay, hot chihuahua. So I don't think you get paid enough for this. No. no. What you don't realize is above your kitchen, there's a whole nother house up there. I was going to ask, are we able to do anything with that or no? Um, I'll have to wonder and how And on that side? I bet we'll have to look and see what kind of access from the garage over to there. So, uh, oh, yeah, could, 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 could you, could, could you, could you, that it'd be an extension of the living space above the garage or is that not that, I think so because you can, we'll have to look and see what, We've got trusses apartment. over there. See how this is stick frame, so it really opens it up. Yeah. On your trusses. It yeah, I mean, there's literally another house up there. Like. I know it. That's what you get with these ranches. There's a whole nother, whole nother house upstairs in these attics. We can connect the garage space up there, and then that will have the best man cave ever oh up, up that way. Yeah. How much house do you need? I just feel like this voice is space. No, yeah, yeah, there's a whole house up there, bro. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Well, thanks for helping me with. Uh, yeah. Getting through the Beef, mud. Beefcake plumbing. Right over here, this ladder is where we move the stairs, remember, from one end of the garage closer to the house. I think that's a much better fit. And since we've got this framed in up above, Andrew's peeked up there and realized how much space he has. It's as big as this entire garage, but he's also noticed there is so much attic space when you build a ranch. He wants to now move this storage room and make that into a man cave, if you will, and put all the storage over the kitchen dining room area because there's so much volume up there. So here is the, the gun safe that we cut a hole in the wall. And you remember this was tons of dirt and mud. This foundation stops at about right here. So to keep the floor level that Andrew wanted, I had to dig all this out. And then we built this wall here to hold support the foundation footing and the waterproofing is all behind this. So Andrew will be able to walk in and have this all level and you can see here this will be a series of steps that will go up to an elevated platform where he can have mounts more guns and it does the exact same thing on this side i think it'll be really interesting when it's measured perfectly that this will get about four steps one two three four up and you still have plenty of room to see if you can see this Ugh. Look at that. So that just gives you a sense how high this is. This will be quite the interesting secret gun vault where the door will be right here.
check this out. It's starting to look like a house. This is one of my favorite stages, especially on the outside. So we got quite a bit of the siding on. I believe there's even more done on the back of the house. So let's go take a look. So this is the north side of the house. Looks like it's all done except for, as luck would have it, we have one window missing. And so you can see we can't side around that. I'll have to figure out where that one window, which creates a little bit of a problem. In case you guys have noticed, I'm standing on Flair's garage floor. It has been poured. We put down a rubberized tar membrane. We called it HML 5000. It's a liquid tar, it's nasty stuff, but it seals things up, waterproofs it, but it takes a good 10 to 12 days to dry. So then we had to come back and put a inch and a half white foam. We use white foam, it's a little bit less money, still does the job. We wanted that to be what we call a thermal break. It's a barrier to help the transition from heat and cooling to go through because below this room, remember, is Flair's bunker and we don't want any condensation getting on the ceiling below. Then we came back and put down rebar. Rebar is used to hold concrete together. It binds it. Concrete will crack and our job is to control where those cracks go. And to do that, we then take this chalk line. We took a this happened to be pink. They'll stretch it all the way out in a straight line and they'll snap it and it marks the concrete. Once it's dry enough, they'll take this big saw and they'll cut all these joints. So if the garage floor is going to crack, which it will, it cracks inside that crack. So that's why you see that on driveways, you see it on uh, sidewalks. Those are called control joints. <laughs> Alex, good morning. You beat me to the job site again. Which ones are you going to set first? The, We're going to the, set the inside ones. The, the inside ones. We come back and set the Set these ones. here. Okay. How do you say grande saw? How, what's saw in Spanish? Serrucho. Serrucho. Grande serrucho. Serrucho grande. Serrucho grande. I'll say it the other way. Yeah. Oh, the word of the day is serrucho grande. Yeah. Big saw. Looks like we're going old school here where we're notching in these beams just like uh, before the power tool days. So they're able to cut it all out with the power tools but then you still got to go by hand and chisel all the little small pieces out so that that slides in around that LVL. You're up there measuring to make get the right angle for the beam? Yeah, so that's where the notch starts. Okay. That looks like the hard part, just figuring it all out from there to transfer it down to the, uh, the beam. Yes. But you make it look easy, Alex. That's why he gets the big bucks. So you can see they're screwing all these two by fours on so everybody has a handle to carry this beam up to the front. And uh, then the interesting part is how we're gonna be able to tip it up. So if you're wondering what they're gonna use to hold this together, we're gonna use a 10 inch screw that will go into a 12 inch beam. Do you need me help on one side? We got one? Okay, all right, I'll give her a go. So 
Alex, take the lift. Was, was he on the phone? Yeah. <laughs> Is he talking? Who's he talking to? <laughs> Is he on the phone, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Alex, you're killing me. He's just being mean now, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's on the phone. There's no phone breaks when you're holding up. 300 pound beam. Ay, ay, ay. This is where I check out. He's got to come this way. Since we took the supports out, the roof has dropped. So we got to jack this roof up to slide the beam underneath it. You got more guys pushing on this, maybe? It's about, it's about there. Just that little tiny bit when they took this support out, dropped the roof down about that much. So they had to raise it back up. That's a tool we've been looking for. We're on the line? Beautiful. Very good. Where I'm at right now is the nano wall I've been talking about. I have one of these in my personal home. They're, they're unique. It's made custom built in Germany. And that's all nano wall. That's the manufacturer. It's all they do are these bifold doors, all custom made. So I gave them the exact measurements that I wanted at Andrew's house. And this one happens to be about nine foot tall and it's 12 foot wide. If you stay in those parameters, it helps budget wise. So we chose to do that. It worked out beautifully here. How this wall works, is that you lift this lever up and it unlatches down below. And this handle right here, I don't have that on my house. This is a new feature that NanoWalls added in the last couple of years because it's used to push the door out and it's used to pull it back in. So as I pull this out, you can see with just a finger, I can slide this big heavy door and all these panels are the exact same size to fit in the opening you know, for 12 foot. So they're three foot of glass times four, there we go. So as this slides back, now, you have this big, beautiful opening, and you can see these are nine foot tall, and then the sliding glass doors, they're an Anderson window, those are gonna be eight foot tall, and they are also eight foot wide, so they'll be four foot of glass. A little bit different looking than here, but it will still complement it, look fine, it'll all be black. When this was framed, framers don't always get them exactly. These guys that install these are trained in Germany, and there's only two guys in the region in about a three or four state area that install these. So when the guys came out to install this, as you can see, they started with the threshold. It's so important that the bottom threshold, this here has got to be perfectly level. Otherwise, these ball bearings and these small little tracks will bind and it will be a problematic forever. So they spend a lot of time putting that track in place. So on these big panels that are nine foot tall and three foot wide, that again, they're individual panels that they have to put together. So you can see this hinges or what join up this piece in here, and then they'll slide the pins down in to connect each door. 
And again, those have to be worked properly as well. So as, they, as I continue to pull all this shut, you'll see all these pins join everything together. As I pull it shut, this is where I grab the handle, lock her in. It's not going anywhere, it's solid. And this one here, I can just pull it shut again, locks down, doesn't take any effort whatsoever. I'm uh, excited that these are in. It's always nerve wracking. Now I gotta find ways to protect it because we're building a house around a $24,000 door. We'll probably put some cardboard or something up on it and definitely want people not opening and closing these things, keep the track clean. So Hey guys, I'm back at Flair's. I'm supposed to be meeting up with the framer, uh, Alex. We're gonna be building the stairs going up to Flair's Dogaminium. I've never heard of that. It doesn't even roll off the tongue very well. Dogaminium. Let's go see how it's going inside. See if there's any more changes or additions. Is Alex here? No, he's not here. Was oh, he on the phone somewhere? Yeah, last time I was here holding everything up, all of us, he was on the phone talking to probably, hopefully his wife. It sounded important. Oh my God. <laughs> he's on the phone. There's no foam breaks when you're holding a 300 pound beam. I had one time I had my mom in the attic one time over a garage and she was stepping on insulation and then she went through. We saw her legs dangling through the garage. <laughs> so I was just finishing up with Jose over here and what we're doing is adding floor joists. So a floor joist difference means it can handle the load of weight. Right now, this ceiling is set up just to handle drywall. So why we're doing this is because the dogs have now taken the space above the garage. We're calling that a dogaminium. Never said that word before, dogaminium. Dogaminium. Doesn't even roll off the tongue very well. With flair, you get some fun stuff like that. So the dogs will now have 1,200 square foot of living space above the garage. So where does Andrew stick all of his stuff that was gonna be in that room? It now has to go above his kitchen and uh, pantry back area. So they are now adding additional lumber material so that we can put plywood down and we can walk on the ceiling above the space for all their, I guess, stuff that he has. Everybody's got stuff, so he's got a, about another 2,000, I don't know, 1,500, 2,000 square foot of attic space that we're finishing off for him right now. Let's go see how the steps are looking and maybe I can give you a tour up there. I'm stuck. <laughs> I took a shortcut. You ever seen a, a dog aminium before? No. Nope. All right, let me spot you. Nope. Look at this. I want to be a dog at Flair's house. Oh my gosh, look at all this. I think it's 1,200 square feet. What we have to do to keep it air conditioned and cool, we're going to put, a, I think, a mini split above this window and one down at each end so that it will heat and cool this space. Although we might look and see if we can just stick them up in the ceiling. We've got room in here before because downstairs, remember they need like 24 inches. We have a lot more space up here. Since this is what we call a truss, these are all trusses manufactured off site and they just set them in place with a crane. You don't have the luxury of cutting any of these things off so that you can box them in to create a, a, a space for this mini split. If it was conventional framing, we could, but because it's a truss, all this has been manufactured and engineered for a specific distance apart and you cannot cut through any of that. So I think we'll probably end up putting a door right here so that Flair can get in to the, that storage space that we're framing right now. I'm scared of heights, so I think I would rather wait till the stairs get done versus going down that ladder. Okay, catch me, Jose. Don't look up my shorts. Eh, that's not bad. So I'm trying to learn what, how to say uh, Flair's dog castle uh, oh, up above. Casa de perro. So, like, grande casa. Grande, grande casa para el perro. What he said. So, it's, it's not easy to say because we don't say that very often, right? Yeah, who has one of these? Yeah. Hey, Max, let's check out. I want to show you. I haven't seen the full beams on the back of the house yet because I had to go to another job. I want to see how this looks. So, there they go. That's what Alex and those guys put together. What's amazing is that big cross member that comes across, they notched it. Like, yeah, see how they notched that? We'll put a steel metal bracket around that that will tie it all together that will also add to the weight. Yeah, 
cover it up. Yeah, cover all that up. Look who just showed up. He must be checking up on me. What are you guys doing here? Checking up on me? Yeah, making sure you're doing your job. Oh, Bring the whole posse with you. Yeah, it's the no call, no show. Yeah. The surprise this, visit. I passed that test, yeah. didn't I? <laughs> we, brought, we brought a clay throw on some shotguns, though. Seriously? Yeah, we're ready. We're going to go shoot right, them off right off in the distance. Oh, I'd like to see that. Yeah. So you get a shoot. You got to shoot. I, I get to shoot? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, yeah, we brought a bunch. First time shooting, I was, I said, I don't know how to shoot. And the guy goes, perfect, put your $5 in. I end up winning the whole thing. No way. They thought You're I, natural. They thought I, I, I suckered him into something. So it's, there's one in the chamber, oh, it's loaded. In. Okay. You flip that up. If you see red, it's That's, dead. That red is dead. Red is dead. Okay, so I'm live. You're live. Should I go sunglasses or no? Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some, get some protection. And I'm going from the hip. Do I know which direction this thing's It'll going? Shoot. It's it going to go straight. straight. You want to watch one? No, I was going to go. I'm going to go live action. All okay. Right. Okay. Sure. So from the hip, flip, huh? Yeah, you gotta flip it on the fire before you get ready. Oh, well, it's now. Now it's red as dead. dead. Meaning, meaning red is good. Oh, we'll meaning it's oh, fire. It red will. Is fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Say hello to my little friend. Shoot it. Go. Ah! <laughs> I have no idea where that went, but that was good. Wow. I was high. Yeah. I think I was high on that one. High? I gotta go a little quicker. Let it fly. Oh, oh man, I gotta pull it faster. <laughs> pull. Oh, that was really close. I, was I saw really it. Close. I saw it. You might have been a hair of the left. Pull. Oh, that seemed really close. Damn. I'm going to do one more, then I have to. One more. Give it another half a second. Okay, I'm, I'm shooting too soon. Just give it a little. There hey, yo! Hey! Oh. Did it! I Hallelujah. You I knew it. it. Good three's, job. three's a charm. Yeah. Feels good when you can knock them out of the sky. Now you're yeah. going to shoot doves, right? I'm ready. Okay. That's all. That's I better ready. quit while I'm ahead. So, this is one of his two decks. This is the uh, composite deck and that they have selected this color. And remember, we did a bladder system. So underneath, as it rains, uh, we still have the standard deck. It's got a rubber membrane system that collects the water. So underneath, we will put a wood ceiling, which is looking just like this one. This is all that tongue and groove cedar. We can stain this. We're not sure what color it's going to be, but that'll be up for uh, Macy and Lisa, the interior designer, to come up with that selection. We're gonna leave flair out of that one. His taste is all in his mouth. Hey, the stone guys are making really good progress. This is really, uh, I think a day and a half, two days at the most worth of work. So they have all these on. And then remember I told you, this is where that big water table is going to go. So they used a template of some sort to separate what they need for the, the distance. So they are able to continue on. This will come in later. It's a special order. Man, it's looking nice. We do have a lot more to go with the big columns and then over by the, uh, the front of the house. So. I would say we're probably close to 40%, 50% done. So I'm happy we have nice weather and that's been working with us. So we'll take it. Electricians have got all their wires run. We had to build some soffits up here to hide the plumbing. These little boxed out soffits are because of the added bathroom, but I have a great idea, a surprise for Andrew. I had it at one of my other houses. It's a trash chute that I'm trying to find a way that I can put it upstairs in his man cave, find a wall that when you open it up, the trash goes down right into a trash can below. So let me show you what, what I'm thinking. This will give you a sense of what I'm talking about. It's got protective plastic, you know, the cover on it to keep the stainless steel, but it says rubbish right there. I'm hoping I can stick it right here and create a, a metal chute somewhere in this area so when he takes his trash, opens this little door right up, it's got a little flap on the back, you dump the trash right on down, it goes right in the trash can. So a little modern luxury that I think would be a nice surprise for Andrew. I don't think he'll be disappointed if I put this in. I'm hoping I can find a way to make it land so it, the trash goes in the garage, which I know, but hopefully it doesn't go in the back of his pickup. Maybe that'll be one idea. He can just load up his pickup with trash and take it to the pickup. Okay, today's the day that I'm meeting the inspector at Flair's house. It's so critical that we pass this inspection. If we don't, it's gonna cause problems where it causes more delays, it affects the move-in date, and I can't get anybody else here working on this job. I can't get to insulation and drywall if I don't pass today's inspection. So I just found out I'm not able to film this process. Fingers crossed, I hope we pass.
Okay, guys, uh, just finished up with the inspector. Kind of uh, good news, bad news. Really, the bad news is I did not pass the inspection. Typically, I find that's what happens a lot. There's always something that they find. Some of just a few little nails for hangers, some plumbing issues. Andrew maybe does not need to know these are minor things. It's not important because I still am able to start insulation and drywall per the inspector. His concerns are with inside the middle of the house nothing structurally around the perimeter so it's nice that i'm able to continue moving forward with this big house because having it sit for a couple of days really piles on at the end doesn't feel like much now but it shows up when they want to start moving in here about april 1st is the date that they're pushing on me real hard This is the insulation truck. Hopefully they're inside. I don't have my M95 mask, but I do have one of these. So let me take you inside. We got the scaffolding set up here. They're starting to insulate this big cathedral ceiling. These walls over here, that's one of the kids' bedroom. They're stuffing all the insulation on the interior walls and some of the ceilings. And then we're coming on Friday with this big spray foam truck and those spray foam what I like to do is do all the north walls. How long did it take you to figure out how to walk on these things? Uh, this is about my seventh day using them actually. Oh, it's only day seven? <laughs> only day seven. Oh my so. God, you're doing awesome. Thank you. Have you tripped yet? Not yet. Because that's a long ways down. Oh yeah. Well, you can always grab a hold of a two by four. I try to keep it about the same height as the ceiling so I can reach up if anything and hold on if I start to tilt. Yeah, wow. Those, what do you figure, four foot off the ground? This one's about three feet. Three, looks like, oh, it's still pretty tall. Walk like a duck. Okay, well, that's one thing. It's not a good look when you're looking for a prom date, trying to, but if you're walking around the house insulation, you might want to walk like a duck. All right, guys, today's the big day. We are officially attempting to move the 700 pound tub from Flair's garage into its place in the master bathroom. It's not very big, but she's strong. So, Andrew, what, what do you think? You can't. This you this has to be a joke, right? I, I thought well, you were gonna have like one of those electronic like pallet jacks where they move oh, like gun safes around. It wasn't in the budget. No, oh, right. We're cutting corners at the expense of my back. Yeah, you're but right, everything yeah. else has just been like, yeah, yeah. there's no budget. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no faith. This is like Christmas morning. I can't wait. What is it? Oh, what is it? this is one way to get the garage clean. Is this too wide to go through the doors? Yeah. Oh, let me just that 30, 36 yeah. inches. Yeah, so the height is so 22. We have to flip this. We're going to lay it on its side right here. 21. I remember when we bought this, we said no problem. We'll just, we'll just get a crane before we frame the roof, and then the roof got framed, and now we're yeah. here. You guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, watch this video nine times. We're gonna need the revenue if this thing explodes. <laughs> There's no way we're not, we didn't even, I mean, not even a millimeter move, dude. There's no way. How, how do you set it back down? Hey, how do you set it back down? We each have to lift about 150 pounds, don't we? What's wrong with fiberglass? I don't know. Concrete's the thing. It's like Put some body into it. It's a, it's a big boy, so I can move it. You, you like where it's yeah. at? I don't like where it's at. too fast over. Is it centered on the car? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Keep it from. Uh, there. Is this keeping so it So if balanced? this thing falls this way, you're going to be under, inside of the tub. Oh, God, I'm your, just keeping it. Keep your, feet your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. <laughs> I prefer riding inside. We need a ramp. Yeah, probably not. Tell me, we gotta weave through the whole house and then get on tile floor. Well, we gotta. And yeah. then drop it without breaking the floor. Oh, yeah, we gotta roll her over, don't we? You guys got that still? Here we might be able to get my nose is the problem. Yeah. I don't want it to go 
too fast. Man, yeah, you, you ready? Fun, to, fun. We're gonna make Flair's door openings bigger than what he would like, but the tub doesn't fit. All we gotta do is take what an inch and a half out of here. I didn't really like this wall that much anyway. Don't so this is, yes, it's nice. Right. We're demoing a new house. It's always fun. I was working on it while you were gone. It's always brass. Highway construction. Three guys standing here watching one guy work. Now, that means you have no tools I'm trying to break down a wall that somebody had a, just a trigger finger with that nail gun. I mean, <laughs> there man! A trigger finger. That's a good way of putting it. They were getting after There's one. You got nail. one. There it is. Yeah. One down, 27 more to go. Yeah. That this tub would have spun around in this little opening. That's why you get the big bucks. Show the wheels on the ramp. Let's one, get a running start. No, we just need to get it. The wheels going. Yep. Ooh. Oh, place the ground. It went. It ran into that wood. It just. It just oh, ran. Oh, just it, oh, it went. It dented. smashed. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to turn. We turn this right. Is this the right color, Macy? And it's not a lot of water, but it doesn't matter. It's water is water, right? Let's make sure it's water. Is it? Yeah, it's water. Oh, it's water. <laughs> it is water. Oh, it's water. Yeah, yeah. It's got a little wang to it. It's, it's coming through the in, walls? Or? Yeah, in this corner. And that corner is where your sports court meets. Uh, and so behind that wall, it goes down like another six, seven feet or eight, probably eight feet. Got it. Uh, the waterproofing guys, and I've been talking to Chad, the dirt guy, it went away when we, we thought when we backfilled it would solve the problem. Yeah. It didn't, because yeah. here it is again. So, where there's a will, there's a way, and you've got the best waterproofing system, but we're thinking one of the drain tiles is disconnected, and that we're going to have to excavate out in the front yard. Mm. So this well, I didn't pour the driveway yet. Oh my god, no <laughs> Could you imagine yeah. that? Does this, uh, <laughs> oh, that, yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm <laughs> laughing because... That would be painful. But, but you're positive it wasn't my fault for... No. I, I hit the foundation twice. Oh, did you? Now you tell me. <laughs> just a little. Just, I just... Uh, there's a corner missing. No, but you see, when you dug it out, yeah. then they came in and did their work. Oh, so, so I, it's no, not no, no, me. No. Okay, these no, construction no, no. is not liable for the leaker. Yeah. Okay. So it's this out, inside corner, dug on it, but it's... It'll get uh, fixed. Yeah. So I've been hoping the backfill solved it, and it did not. Got it. I was hoping someone was peeing in here, but the, no, I, that's just, not I the tasted case. it. It's not. It's yeah. not. Okay. So it will be fixed. Okay. This is welcome to new construction. Yeah, it's like watching it. surgery. <laughs> Remember the doctors go, well, let's go back in and take a look at what we did surgery on. I think yeah. that something didn't go right. We'll do exploratory. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> that's this, what is. this is. Yeah. Exploratory. Alright, so just get it up there, then you guys will slide it, make sure it's level or where it's or straight.
That's Macy's outlet that we gotta make sure it gets up through here, huh? These guys make it look easy. That thing is heavier than it looks. Tom, um, how's it going? You about ready to mount that thing? You're just smiling. Why? That's, is that a smile? Because if I don't smile, you, it'll scream. be a frown. You'll be crying. It'll be a grumpy. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing. Oh, it's just not going as fast. Oh, you're going to start cutting? No, I got that end cut. I got to cut it a half inch long and then fit, see if it fits. Oh, I can't cut it dead on because I have no board stretcher. You need, we have a well, board. If I cut it wrong yeah. and I cut it exact length, I'm screwed. Oh, it's yeah. not right. Okay. this direction, put it on the other side of my head. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. I bet that 25, 30 pounds. 25 times 16, that's a 400 pound log. Yeah, that's a that's 50, 60 pounds all day long. Know where to hold it. Head muscles. Oh, you're throwing me up. I got this. Up. We're just doing a test run. Yeah, it's got to go. You got to go a half inch higher, Brad. I'm only so tall. Tom. Well, you know what? Here. The easy way. Right there. Okay. Um, There's an easy way. Now you tell me. <laughs> what I should have done, put some kickers under it so I could rest it. I just yeah. can't, I can't tell just by holding it for All right, let's do the kicker. two seconds. The miter's not correct already, I can tell that. But yeah. in order to get an exact figure, I got How are you going to mount the kickers? On this side or go from the floor? Okay, I would like to be able to cut it dead on. The problem is, I don't know what dead on is, so I'm just gonna take the bare minimum off. I can always, if, it's, it, just if it fits good and it's long, I can take, leave it, it go and take it more off on okay. that end. We're more concerned about how this fits together. Correct. This, we can keep cutting off. Right. To scribe, I run this edge along the existing mantle and it transposes that same angle, the same space all the way down on the the second piece. Oh, okay. Now don't move it because no. you've got to do the same thing to the bottom. This one here you just can't sand and paint. You got one shot at it. So now you gotta cut this jagged edge with what that sawzall or what are you no, using? With the skill saw again. Oh, okay. Hold it one minute. I'm not moving, I'm not even hardly breathing. Right now it's level, but that gap plum. right there, that plum is what Tom has to make up. That's why it's not gonna be a straight cut when he does this. You'll look down, he's gonna basically starting at the bottom and it gets wider at the top. It will fit, that's why he scribed it. If he cut it perfectly square, there would be a big gap when we're all done here and then we have to throw this away and start it. You guys see that? Look how nice that is. Beautiful. Tom? That's about, that's that's, about as good as it's That is really, that's awesome. I don't know if you guys, hope you appreciated that. That was really fun to watch what Tom does to make this happen. Guess what? He still got to do the other side. <laughs> ah. That's the side that's gonna be seen the most. I wanted to practice on the back side so that I've got a little.
Obviously, here's the vault door, but you've created this rigging. You had this custom built for this? Did we you make that? You yeah. just made that for this yep. door. Okay, so there's no good way to really support this unit as it goes into that threshold opening. This is going to lift on the inside of oh, the Oh, we're going to jack this up and it's going to touch at the top. Yes. Okay. And then we have to be able to get this the, lifted the, the up. Initial stabilization piece out of there. Oh, I see. Since we have this, oh, you're going to lift it up and then disconnect. Disconnect that. Okay. And we're going to get it much closer before we do that. All just right. So that we aren't moving very okay. far at all with this heavy unit. I gotcha. This gun vault will slide in and he'll have all the metal wrappings that will go around it. So this thing is going into steel, which is a true solid member. Concrete, wood, steel shouldn't go anywhere, but the hard part is getting it in here. So let's go. Okay, they're gonna make sure that everything's balanced on that jack down there. And we're adding blo wood blocks just to add to the height to get this off the ground so that we can release that metal pallet from the frame. Here comes the orange straps. That's why I tap out. Let these professionals do the strapping. This is kind of like Jenga. If I pull this oh, out, will gas. this thing still it's hold? Somehow this came out and it's still doing its job. Let's see if I pull one more out if it still works. Yep, just pull it. Yeah, go watch the bike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But let me get it under there. Go. Keep this an eye is, on it. This isn't good. This isn't We're working. No weight here. You're not doing anything. Right there. How's you, you, sure you good with right that? Now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just take it slow because I'm gonna have to twist it somehow. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this and go around it. Let me see if I can lift it up. Okay, a little update on why all the confusion and, and the blocks and what's going on. All because this thing came sticking straight up and down on that jack, that pallet. We had to get this thing raised up high enough so that we can unscrew it, slide the pallet out, and that's why all the blocks of wood. So now we're trying to get it settled back down so that what Eric has made, this metal support bracket, the shelving it, if you will, will be gun vault safe, will be sitting on top of that, and then we'll be able to jack it up and wheel it right into place. That's the theory. Stage two, here we come. This will be the last time there will not be a door here, so now we're gonna slide that big booger right into here. Let me stay out of the way. That sounded terrible. So now we're gonna now close we, the door. We're gonna actually close the frame to the door. Because the, does the door have weight on it? Yes. Yeah. It, it, we're, this is okay. right here. Right yeah, there. so we wanna bring that this way. Oh, it's easier to bring it this way versus the door. Oh, I see. Okay. That's we'll as far there. as that goes. Now we need but, one here, one here, one there, one there. We're gonna tip it back. We're gonna tip it back so we can get it to go shut. We gotta come on, tip it backwards. And do I lock it? Yep. Yeah. Turn, Why? turn, yeah, pull, pull, pull out. There. Okay. We got her locked. Now we're just going to shimmy her. Just kind of go side to side. Just do the pivot. Other side. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. I don't want to be in alone. I got the key. I'm going to go in there too. In there to unlock. Yeah. Can you I'm hand sorry. me a donut in case I don't come out for a week? And Nate's side. And Mark's side. Nate's side. Fingers. Watch the fingers. Mark's side more. Yep, Nate side. And we're in. All right. Now it don't, no, no. <laughs> so we got her in the hole. So now what Eric's going to have to do, all these decorative pieces 
will go on a wrap around here. And this all started with Flair looking down in the hole at his front stoop, realizing that instead of filling it full of dirt, we should make it into something. I think I had something to do with that, but there it goes, well worth it. A couple of things to think about when we are now to the next stage where we're going to have the bookcase put in. There's a couple of ways to hinge this thing. So one, I had to have a discussion with Andrew and Macy because my idea is to come downstairs and land on LVT, another flooring versus carpet, because if this bookcase has a roller underneath of it, that's typically in the past how we've done that. You're gonna start seeing tire tracks, if you will, tracks in the floor and the carpet when this thing swings open and shut. But I found out Macy wants carpet, not LVT. So now we are building the bookcase where we put supersized hinges on it. It'll actually hang on the wall. So when it swings open, nothing touches the ground. So they're getting carpet down here and this will now be the bookcase. In my mind, I think they needed to add more bookcases on this wall, but we'll wait and see. That's what I would do if it's my house. They're trying to stay back on budget. There was no budget, but this stage of the game, when they're building a the house, they're saying, Let's find any way we can cut come costs because we went over budget on everything else. Do we really need bookcases there? Probably not, but it will look a lot better if it was. That's always the case. If you spend a little extra money, it goes a long way, but the jury's out. Let's see what you guys think once it's all done. And we'll see if Andrew and Macy come back later and add the bookcase to this wall. So this one doesn't look so lonely. They got the scaffolding set up. Hey, Rory, how are you? Wow, look at who gets to climb all the way up there. Oh my word. Did you do that all yourself, Mike? Set the whole thing up and then, uh, no? That's, that's quite, a, quite a rig there. So where's Tom at? I wanna see if I can cheer him up with some donuts. You guys, there he is. Tom, I heard you broke a column. You broke a beam? Did, I, can, I know that, it came that way. Yeah. Is, will this make you feel better to start your day? Thanks, Brad. You're welcome. See, it does work. He's getting, he's very smiling. This is going to be a good solution to the problem. More flies with honey than vinegar, right? That, that's right. More flies with, or with donuts in there our case. Yeah. What happened? Like one of the edges, these things busted yeah. off. It oh, just, it's, oh, it's over there. Let's see. Can we glue it back together? Yeah. Oh, see here, guys. It's a three piece unit. It's already, it's glued anyway, glued and screwed. So when Tom called and said we have a situation, but I think he used the word problem. That's just part of it, but it looks like we can put it back together. That's the big bad boy that's gonna cover the truss, the girder truss that runs from one end to the other. So let's get into this and see what, uh, what we're in for for today. Guys, I'm back at Flares to get an update. I was told that Tom has been working really hard and has one of the big beams up. But hey, Tom, holy cow, that thing's, that's a beast you got going on up there. Was it uh, easy to install? It looks like it's easy to install. You think? <laughs> no, it was difficult. <laughs> was it? Getting quite a bit in. It's looking awesome. Holy cow, they have four. They got one more to go right here. And then there's gonna be another one across there we have to put in. There's no way for that beam, because that ceiling comes down, there's not a wall for it to stop on. So we created a small beam like that to go across, which allows the ceiling beams to die into something. So standing back here, looking guys, it's looking great. Everything's to scale and proportion. I don't think I would want them any bigger or any smaller. It's looking nice. Tom, I like what you did with the uh, brackets. Those are awesome. You made those out of wood. 
I talked to the lady, those brackets that we ordered never came, so they're giving me a credit. I had down for two, right? They never showed up, nothing. Are they made out of steel? I don't, they're like, flimsy. probably not, probably Got flimsy. Just well, sad, are you sitting down? I'm not very tall, so people think I'm sitting down all the time. I'll what, get you do, I, do I need yeah. to sit down? <laughs> this is something, what? I hate to tell you. I need to be sitting? I really didn't want to be, tell you this in person. I gotta well, stand up for this. Okay. What? Um, we needed 10 beams and we only got eight. You're sure there's nothing's in the garage? You, I mean. Yeah, the boys were bringing the beams in as I needed them. I didn't realize it. We go to put these last two in Friday and they went out to get the last two beams and there's not, there's no oh. box out there for them. Oh my God. So, so we're missing those two beams there? Right. How the, the heck did I we looked, do that? I, yeah, you and I went over this and, and over and over and we did, didn't we? We went yeah. over it. Unfortunately, am, am I getting the blame for this? Unfortunately, I didn't make the list. Um, you told me what to put on the list. See, the builder is always the fall guy. <clears throat> so if you want to be a home builder, a general contractor, be ready to own up all the mistakes. Two beams. So we ordered six and we needed eight. How did? Because you know what? We ordered eight. Yeah. I don't know. What? Damn it. I think it's these here is what threw us off. So I will make some calls and find out. Let's see how he put the word us in there. Us, we, I like to use that. We, us, and then you, Tom. Well, okay, well, so are you my saying God, your price no. just went up? Oh my God, now, not only are we missing no, materials, but no, now Tom, no, but you know what's gonna, no, God dang it, what a bummer. Here. No, I know you're, so it's just gonna suck because everything's done and we have these two here missing, but you're gonna go ahead and slap up the, the backing to it. Right. So when it comes in, we still have to come in. Can we do it without all the scaffolding? Is that even possible? Just those two over there, um, just those two, 16 footers. All right, I will call and find out how long it's gonna take. You know, they custom make these things. It's not like they're, well, sitting in the warehouse. All right, well, thanks, Tom, for uh, the good news. Now I get to tell Andrew and Macy. They're pretty easy going, but it's just gonna look weird in their living room, looking up, and part of the beams are missing. Is this a Monday? It sure feels like it. It's a Monday, it is a Monday. Oh, it comes out quite a ways. So then this does get to 90. And then if we did, we can see how much room we have for that bookcase. Then this door only stops like this. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I'm all for it. So I really appreciate you thinking it all the way through. That's what you guys are, that little technical details of. One trimmer says, I said a 16th. He says, no, I work within a hair. When it comes to frameless cabinetry, you don't have much play. Yeah, you don't. You gotta be right on. So perfect. I'm excited to see it. I appreciate you coming out. Here comes the countertops. Is this the first trip or one of many already? Many. Many, <laughs> many trips? This is the last top. Oh, the last top? Perfect, I'm here to, I'm here to help. Got her backed right up to the door and it's just a rainy mess. These guys were smart, they got here early. Oops. They gotta make a tough turn. I heard some guys groaning, that did not sound good. These things are super heavy. And as you remember, we put that fancy edging on there and they're setting it on the ground. So I hope this thing holds up because we do not have time for do-overs. That's pretty. Don't let touch it. Wow, you guys Come did it. I'm gonna imagine your business, you say, watch your fingers. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> the word of the day, watch your fingers. So, uh, well, you already got the back counters in. I shouldn't have slept in today. Get here an hour late and I miss all the action. So you had to move the lay down furnace. It's about served its purpose. I mean, we had dirt and dust and everything in here and there's, we couldn't get the new AC running because it was it's a mini split. So anyway, long story short, we're getting this room caught up because it was supposed to be a place for the dogs. That's a man cave for cooking and catch, clean, cook. There we go. I like it. Yeah, right here is where it's all gonna go down. Oh, that's the problem? What would it look like if we put a it's shrimp? It's gonna look pretty at all. It's gonna look bad. God, I can't believe there's that big of a gap in there. It is touching. 
Yep. So the fix, if, if we pull this out, if we just cut that whole section out, but if, if we just cut that middle, I guess that's what I'm trying to wrap my brain around this. If we just cut right where it's touching here, piece has to come out and then- I think let, we let, tried a whole section there. It had to go up a little bit. If this is half inch, and then this goes to Basically, quarter. if you go down here yeah. and down there and replace all this with, quarter, or with, with half with inch, half it. that's what or, I would do. Everything else. This is half inch. I mean, it would just quarter go, go quarter inch. Go, just right. go even smaller. Or just, if it's just plywood, does it have, does it have to be drywall? No, it can be plywood. Yeah. All from here over, even clear under the cabinet. We, I would just go straight down from the cabinet. Everything else, we, if we have to like knock it down a little bit, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay. But. We haven't done a lot of this slab. Is this kind of common when you put these big slabs on yeah. these walls? Yeah, it's pretty common. Um, we can flex this in a little bit. We don't want to put too much pressure pushing it in. No, bust it. So right, if we yeah. get the majority of the way, we can flex it in. Maybe yeah. Maybe so if this was tile, can. you'd be forgiving. You can make, you can make you it can, disappear. Well, tile is only yeah, little pieces. So you can... Yeah, we got a 10 foot piece here that we can't bend. But okay. Yeah, we'll pull it off. I'll cut some drywall out and we'll mock it up again. All right, and we'll sit it right back here you know. again. I'll let you know what it needs. Okay, and, thank uh, you. The positive note is you guys nailed the uh, pot filler right on the money. <laughs> and then, It got it right with my crayon. When it wears out, it makes people very happy because then I'm, I go reload in my I truck. I say some of the sketches downstairs are what it's gonna be yeah. pretty cool. Oh, you like my sketches? Yeah. yeah. Where'd that cord go? Oh, we just talked about Oh, this is this a test run? This is a test run. You gotta go up. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah, stand back. Okay. We're tight here. What's it looking like down there? Oh, I'd like to know if that worked. Did it work? Just glue it. What do you catch up? Uh, can we? You want something in there to? We do? Make sure it glues and stays strong, so. Son of a gun. All right, took yeah, all the drywall out. Now you guys are right, it all works fine. Do I just glue something between the studs? That's probably the way to go. Can I just put some studs in there so that you can glue it up against them? I mean, do you need long it solid? As long as there's enough surface area. To, to hold it? Um, I mean, that hood's gonna come down and be fastened. I'm assuming we're gonna hammer drill holes for this and then fasten it to the studs. Yeah, there's a hood over there. So I got, long I as we get some backing in there for that. Cause if that's up, That'll help hold this up as well, and we won't need as many areas to adhere to. Okay, here all that works. So here, now that got, joint, it's perfect. Here, here. So I wish they would leave it. So this is going to be number two. Try to get it to fit. I feel good that this is going to work. So what are you flush looking for? You, you want it to be flush with this? It's kind of tipping out, isn't it? So do you feel like this is good? As long as I'm plumb, right on. That's plumb. So yeah, I feel pretty good about that. So you got it on try number two? Oh, number one. That's right. That was number one. Oh, okay. Well, good. <laughs> I'll give you where credit's due. Number one. So now leave this, and now you're going to start anchoring it into place. We got to pull it back out again. I'll pull it one more time just to glue it. Okay. Well, good. So it's going a little, little quicker than now, you'd hope. Now it'll go quicker. Okay. Perfect. The hard part, and then the fun stuff is going to yeah, start coming now, in, where we can mount the door. Good. All right. You have to put back in over here too. Yeah. That that isn't as necessary oh because of the weight i right, gotcha well good well we got the a-team here all right well i'll get out of your way again so if you're wondering what justin just put down this is a polyurethane which will stick to about anything to secure the base of the frame for the man cave door so good stuff So an update on the sports court. They got all my cabinets out of here. You can see the guys, they're protecting all the floors here in the sports court. And the idea is why we're protecting the floors is the wall paint is totally different than the floor paint. So we don't want that getting on the floors, which will create a problem where we have to clean all that off when they come back later to finish the floors. And these are some razzle dazzle hinges. So what are they called? Sauce. Sauce? S O S S. S O S S sauce hinges. So these get concealed and squeezed right in between, right in here, right? It's where they, so that fits in there. 
and the other one fits in there. I had to mortise both in so that when it's when the door is closed, they're completely concealed inside. And you don't see a thing. Yeah. Other, otherwise, it's going to kick it out, wouldn't it? Wonderful. So, There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes, all the research. That's what people don't fully appreciate when you're doing some really cool stuff like this. Building it is one thing, but then doing all the research to figure out how it all comes together. Yeah, you spend a lot of time on that. I tried a different hardware and it wouldn't quite work with the situation that we have. So Yeah, you've done several mock-ups and sent us videos of what finally did work. Yeah, this is the second or third try. That's right there, so. yeah. It's like the invention of a light bulb. You gotta try a few tries. To, you did it on the third try versus, I think, uh, Edison did it on 1,000 or something. Yeah. Good looking stuff, it's heavy duty. It looks pricey. I don't know, I got them from Tom. Oh, did it, Tom the trimmer? Oh, Tom the trimmer saved the day Thank again. You. Oh, grouchy Tom comes through. I'll put him back on the Christmas list now. Thank you, Tom. So I'm just gonna ask, why did you put two at the very top? Is that where the major of the load is at? So it's gonna be supporting the whole entire weight of the cabinet and then anything you put inside. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it had plenty of support. So uh -huh. you got two up here, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. So that's carrying the majority of the weight yeah. then. Okay. So here's what you had to do. You had to create this shelf to fit under there, right? So this fits in here. Yeah. And then we just made this shallower because there's no net that didn't need the extra weight. And that's just gonna artwork or something. Yeah. So we can hang a picture on here, books there. And then again, more shelving. Yeah, that has doors. Oh, it's got doors on here too. Oh, now we gotta find the painter and yeah. see what he's done. Well, they're here somewhere. Let me go. So there, that's in. Now you gotta put the trim. Did they paint your trim at all or not? Yeah. That's, oh, that's there. Oh, nice. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is let you do your thing a few more. I'm gonna go check on the painters, try find these doors for you somewhere in this house. It's so big, things get tossed or hidden. So let me go find out. These are not them. Where do these go to? So let me call William. Nope, that's a trash can for in here. Hello, William. Hey, we're looking for the gun safe cabinet. There's two doors that got painted. You've got the trim and all that has been painted, but now we can't find the two doors. My guy probably, he have maybe now some bedrooms. Um, let me call him right now and he can take it to the guy, okay? Okay, I'm here now, we're just downstairs, so oh, I, I just didn't know okay. where to look. But you think it's upstairs maybe in the bedrooms? No, maybe that it's in the bedroom. Okay. Let me call him right now, yeah, okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay. downstairs. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, bye. All right, that's part of the thing is we have to paint everything. You take everything off and then you park it off to the side and then it takes weeks and then you come back and you have to put everything back together. But all it takes is for somebody to move it to another location and now we're trying to find two cabinet doors. I'm gonna check all the closets behind doors. Aha, we got a hole in the ceiling right there. While I'm looking for the doors, I found the doors, but this hole is because Macy's tub is right above here. And the plumbers, when you put those faucets that go into the ground, you have to install those from underneath. We always have to patch the ceiling once the tub and faucets get set. So that's on my punch list. I think these are my, I found them. Okay, very good. Uh, a problem diverted. I don't know what that is. This house is so big, stuff gets hidden in a hurry. Oh, I grabbed an extra board, but I don't think that goes to anything. It's a, oh, it's a different color. I'm gonna set it over here at this pile of all these little pieces of trim. Let's go check on the countertop guys upstairs and see if I'm able to get my backsplash installed. Are you guys able to make it work? All right. Oh, we missed it. All right, they got the bottom piece in. You got her? grateful that these guys were able to stick around and make the modifications so that this can get done. Now I can start setting the hood. So one more piece to go, huh? Thank you guys for doing that. All right. So what's nice enough, these guys stuck around, made the modifications, adjusted the back. So we we're able to get the backsplash glued on. And now they're putting the last two pieces up at the top, which now allows me to get the kitchen hood set. So get this kitchen back on schedule, hopefully continue to meet our deadline in two more weeks. I just learned this is called a paraline and what these guys are doing is put it on both sides of the uh, joint for the seam 
and then they'll squeeze these together to get it tighter and then they'll caulk that so that it'll eventually will make it so it looks like there's no seam at all. All right, so you guys, I wanted to show you, remember it was a total disaster. It looked like we are walking into the middle of an operating room. All that demo that we just did here in the last hour or so, has all created a beautiful backsplash. So now the next step is I can get the hood installed. This is that pot filler that I'm not a big fan of, but it's here. And this is the wire for the hood and the inner workings. We are making great progress. Now I can get Eric back to finish up the cabinets and get this house to move in time. So I've got exactly two weeks to go and I'm, I'm actually still feeling pretty good about it. coming you about wish i could snap my fingers and be a week from right now today i'm a traffic cop here at flair's house trying to make sure everybody can come and go and no one's in the way because there's a lot of things happening this week what do you got andrew here you're not moving in right now are you uh, no tomorrow oh no that's what i need to talk about here's the thing you don't want to rush this you know well thank you i you appreciate that yeah i agree that. yes okay. you're right. so, so there were some hater comments saying i can't believe flair gave brad this deadline and this and that and the other listen it's all going to be good we're going to be up on the hill the, it's macy approved by the way oh good so that's she's, important she's so, okay she's yeah. not like itching to move well she is itching to move in here because it's a cool house but i said let's move in let's give them a couple weeks we'll finish it all up then but, it'll be ready to go because the last thing you want is, is to wake up and then somebody's knocking on the door to come spackle a little you know exactly no right no I'm, you're exactly right a lot of homeowners don't get that they want to hurry up and get moved in yeah. and then they're living with the construction guys yeah, we don't want that. and then that actually slows it down quite oh, a bit oh i believe it because yeah. they because you know they Speaking can't start when they oh here they are see the they're, door they're ready to come work. on we in come on in we amigos what problem. we got there's the downstairs sports court french doors that's what it looks like without a door and that's what it looks like with tom holding it is it heavy tom no no that's not heavy just awkward. Yeah. I don't know if I can get this down there, Brad. What do you got your hands in your pockets for? Because there's, well, there's no place for me to grab. You know what? Right, you got to yeah. tip it. You get it all the way down flat, and then you can take this in. And, I don't know, well, let the professionals figure this out. I'll watch the top. You're clear. Still. Still clear. You gotta, yeah, you're clear in the back, and then bring your... See, Tom, I told you it would fit. Thanks for the instruction, Brad. Yeah, anytime I'm here to help. So once we get everything kind of finalized, we can start putting the rest of this uh, appliances in. This is the inside of the hood. What is this beast? Might be a dishwasher. It can't be a dishwasher. We're missing two of them. There's the inside of the range hood. Oh, we have a hood for flare upstairs and one for down. This is flares upstairs cooktop is what that is. So all that will stay down here till Wednesday and then we'll start hauling it back upstairs, get that set up. Okay. Are, you're at the bottom of the hill, or are you at the top? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm parked all the way by this little, looks like this little, I don't but, know. Yeah, trailer. a little camper. Okay, I'll come out and talk to you. So we got another guy. Here's the guys that's cleaning all the duct work. I'm not sure if my timing's right or not, but they're here. So I'm gonna find a way to get him in. If it was not frozen, this would be a disaster. Okay, there he is. All right, Pete. Good. Uh, Brad, you had a clear shot. I'll probably just have you back all yeah, the way I'm down. Yeah, I'm going to try. So just pull in there okay. and go around. Perfect. So, and then you can camp out. He'll be there for a while, right? Yeah, I'll be okay. a few hours yeah. for sure. All right. Um, all right. So all there's right. our last guy. He's out of here. So I'll help guide you Perfect. back in there, Pete. It's got to be lunchtime pretty soon. I got another half an hour before I can take a break. All right, straight back. How far back? I got you about three foot short of the stoop. Do you want to be all the way up to I the stoop? Okay, let's come. I'll get you right up there to your where you're hit. Keep coming. You got about about this far. Keep coming. You're in. All right. So if you got some heavy lifting, I'll go find some guys because oh, I'm. Be oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't want to be your guy. Are you able to get your stuff through here? Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, they're just going to offload some things and then move over, but we're cleaning the ducks. I'm going to go grab some. You going to lunch? I don't know. Huh? We're not sure yet. Okay. I'm thinking about it. 
need a little Where break. Where are you going? I need a break from being a traffic cop. To I be see like you moved your truck finally. Well, I had to move everybody. Was That's I good. blocking everybody? Was oh. I the guy? I was the guy in the way? Of course. Now, always. now you tell me. Always. I had no idea. They have it 30 inches off the countertop. Is that okay with you? Let me, let me look at that. Oh, that looks about right. Yeah. So you don't hit your head on it. Yeah. This too high. Oh, you got all your lines. So this, you tell your guy, that's where he's got to drill this hole. We're going to clear? Is that thing? Yeah, I'll have to just cut out the back of that. Oh. More modifications. Okay. Oh. Now we got another traffic jam. He's backed up right up to the doors. No other way around it. And this is the only way in and out of the house. No. Nope. Oops. So just as I thought, it's warming up. The snow and ice is melting and it's turning to muck. I've got to go find a way to keep this from getting in the house. Oh, sorry. I just swept right in this guy's face. My bad. I was about dusted my uh, stereo guy. This is Tom's broom. I wonder if he thinks it's green. Let me go see if I can find Tom. I like to give him his monkey butt powder, but I don't see his van. Let's go pull out a van. Let me see. This is this box that got delivered to the haunted house. I gotta see what the heck. Oh, this is the oven door that got damaged. Perfect. I don't know if you saw somebody put a ding in the nice oven door. This feels awful light, but let's take it inside. This is the oven door. We're almost ready. All right, I'll be right back in five minutes. I'm gonna take this cardboard and lay on this. Put the keys so I don't lose them. All right. I forgot how I got into the situation. I think it was Tom. Tom was in the way. Darn it, that's why I'm in this mess. All right, I don't wanna get this muddy yet. I'm gonna go find a driver for the van. Alan, would you wanna drive your van as I pull you out? Yeah. I got the keys in it. This is a muddy mess. I gotta get more rock or something down here. There. That was easy. Maybe he wasn't stuck after all. Thanks, Alan. Boy, I got myself a mess here. I should have tried to take a shortcut. Yeah, well, I put you in there, so I should have. I'm glad I got you out. Just gotta keep twisting like a snake. I thought that was a hook. I would have done it different. Then I lost my cardboard. Yuck, all right, more cardboard. It's, it's salvageable. You guys seem to enjoy watching my misery. So just trying to be helpful, moving guys' vans, and then it gets turns to this. Okay, my work is done here. Oh, oh, that's what this guy's doing? Really? It's, that's yeah. what's, it's already picking it up? Let me see if his keys are in it. So we got some carbon monoxide detectors going off because he's parked too close to the door. It's always something. Who'd have thought? I guess when the tailpipe's close to the front door, you're bound to get some carbon monoxide in. So we're gonna keep the door closed. I moved him out a little bit. Let's see if that solves the problem as the detectors are doing their job, they're going off. Will it take a while for that alarm to quit? Oh, it's just open up some doors, windows, so nobody gets sleepy and tips well, over. Isn't that wild? Yeah, I never would have never thought it. They work. There's a breeze. Yeah, that's the good thing, they're working. Cow, we don't want people dying on the job site for carbon monoxide poisoning. And this one, can't let a bad screen that came in. I already got a sticker, so I'll order one in for oh, you. Okay. But nice. at least for now. So we not, they got a screen on there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for yeah, doing that, cool. Zach. All right. So he's, Zach's got all the screens and door knobs. Yeah. And you're, a, you're a hard working man. I work harder on the weekends. <laughs> you might want to get out of here. We got carbon monoxide in here. It's beeping. Do I open up this door and let more in? I pulled it away quite a ways. Let me ask this guy if I can move it even farther out. Where is he? Hey, Pete. I, I'm going to pull your van a little ahead. That's the carbon monoxide detectors going off. Okay. But do you want to do it? I, I pulled it ahead about three foot. I might need to go a couple feet more. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just make sure, that I, let me turn that machine off. Uh, uh, the... Okay, I'll let you do it. If you can, okay. I'll have you pull ahead a little bit. I think if, I don't know if, if you can just go up maybe three, yeah. three or four feet. Yeah, there's exhaust pipes right over there, but it must be just enough on the side of the house that's causing all the fumes to come inside. So it's important you guys not only have smoke detectors, but they also make smoke detectors with carbon monoxide. So I would advise you to put those in your house. Very safe thing to have, because that carbon monoxide, you cannot smell it at all. You would never guess that there is 
those fumes going into the house right now. Whose fault was that? So, do I take the blame for that one too? Well, Probably, I'll take that one. I'm gonna turn some lights on, Eric. Get out of your way. You go up and under. So the back's cut out. You pull that cord and down. All done. That looks awesome. Now, you gotta put all the trim pieces around the top and yeah. Eric's got some pieces under here to do, so you're not going anywhere time soon. I do have a question, what's going here? Is there a trim board that fills yeah. this gap right across here? Correct. Okay, all right, perfect. And then do you put the shoe on down here? I, I, I am going to. Okay, I didn't know if you Yeah, were... so on some of the bathrooms, Tom said that they weren't doing shoe in some of the bathrooms. Well, yeah, if there's the tile was laid down first and Tom then trimmed down to it. So I think he's done laying shoe in the whole house. So if, besides this, oh no. Well, yeah, he's already he said, got this done. Yep, yep, yep. So wherever your, like your shoe or your cabinets, if you think yep. it, if it needs it, then put it down. Plumbers are finishing up up here. It looks like a mess. I think the painters, they have finished as well. So now over the weekend, tomorrow was supposed to be the move-in date. I don't think we're gonna make that because Andrew slowly moves stuff into the garage, which you've seen, but there's a few pieces that are missing. I'll check my phone. I just wanna make sure this house is done. And that's what Andrew and Macy said. They don't want people coming and going. So if they give me an extra week or two, We'll gladly take it and try to get this house all done with a no punch. That's the goal. We don't want anything left on the schedule to do if we can help it. Sometimes it's just because of shipping and delivery. That's a problem. But if somebody can get it done, we're going to do that. So let's go downstairs. Oh, Holy shit. Okay. It's it's moving. All right. We got to get son of a All right. We better. I don't have any water. Well, we got to fire at flares. Jeez, can't even dial 911. I'm a little bit of, bit of a panic, so it's gotten out of hand. Uh, we have a, a burn pile that got out of hand and it's starting to go across a hill at, uh, and we don't have any water on site. We just, uh, we need a water fire truck. Looks like it's starting to burn itself out, but it's got a lot of dry grass heading its way. Not a problem yet, but it could be. Anyway, yeah, we could use a little help. Fire department will be now. Oh, very good. Okay, we'll take them. Thank you. All right, well, it looks like it kind of burned itself out, but I don't know what that tractor can do. I think he was supposed to be watching it. Blair's calling me. Is it pretty bad? No, it's starting to go out now. It started hitting the hill. It looked pretty bad. And then it keeps starting. I might go there with a shovel or something and try to... I was going to say that your, your bobcat, I mean, I don't want you to obviously put it in the fire, but people build fire breaks with those. I don't know if it's a big, steep hill, but make a break with the dirt or that mini excavator's there, the Argo's there. I mean, okay. No, it's, it's just hitting the hill. You're only you burning the hill. It's a long ways from your barn, and they'll be here in a few minutes, but let, I'll uh, I'll go over there and see if I can find some shovels, but it's it's like a brush fire now, so I think it'll be right, fine. You know. You'll be fine. I'll, I'll send you, you a picture. Like... I gotta find a shovel. You wouldn't have to have one in your truck, do you? Yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs> Here, you want to take this? Watch out. See if I can. There it goes. Well, that cord's going to go. Not worth saving, but I'm see if I can get some. See if I can kill it with this. Hot. Woo. It's a problem. It's so dry. Yeah, and the wind's supposed to get worse. Let me keep going down here. See if I can stay ahead of it. It's so hot. This isn't the right stuff.
Can you unplug me by the driveway? There's some cords right up here by the... Okay. Seems to be doing the job. This is a lot of it. Here comes the fire department. Here comes the cavalry. Hope they got water. Is there one down there too? We got a windy day. I think what happened, this was burning a couple days ago and it must have sparked up again. There was a little pile that was smoldering and all it took was a little spark and got it going again. So we got the guy that's putting up the fence, helping with this tractor. A little fire dust burn on my forehead. Jeez, I was in the heat of the moment and the heat of the flames. Holy cow, can you believe that just happened? We had to call the fire department, put the fire out. We have no water here, so they had to bring the water trucks. I had no idea what was even going on over there. So what a warm welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, so now back to our regularly scheduled program. Sorry for the interruption. Let's go check out the inside of Flair's house. So Eric, you guys, is that the header you're putting in that will, that all the doors being supported from the top, right? Correct. Yes. That track right there. Okay. And there's a, uh, Tom put a double header up there. So there's plenty of meat and strength. It's all solid wood above yep. there. All right. And then uh, what did we figure this? I forgot. We did the math. You remember what, what we thought each door was going to weigh? Uh, uh, 250 to 300 pounds per door yes. with the glass and everything. So it sounds like a lot. It's not too bad compared to some other stuff we've hung from the ceiling, but all right, so you, now you're gonna set that, try to get it, get it level, is that, right. you have yep. a concern? get it completely straight and, and, and level. You guys, this is the room that we added on at the very end, we finished to connect the Four Seasons room with the sports court. So Tom came in and put some more trim down. So now they're finishing up the last coat on the walls. We end up putting anywhere a base coat and then probably two coats of paint. So at the end of the day, there's at least three to four coats of paint on the house. That's if I don't find any nail pops and find little problems, then that would be another coat of paint. So this is looking really nice in here. We've gone through it pretty good. Back at Flair's. <coughs> so there's, you need me where? No, they want me to get up on the roof. I don't, I don't get up on roofs that much unless there's a, a special lift and I'm tied off and, and there's donuts. Are there donuts up there? No donuts. I, no donuts, I don't go. Ah, uh, the donuts are at the other house. I'll bring donuts to you so I don't have to go on the roof. I'll bring some to you, all right? Just don't make me get on the roof. These guys, they, they like to tease me. For these poor painters, which is their, their job, what would drive me crazy is they have to tape all this stuff off. They spend more time taping things off, check this out, just so they can get the sprayer out and they're done in about an hour. This is that big stone water table. That's all been protected. See right there? 
You don't want to get paint on that. So they've covered all this up. They've covered up all the windows. And what's nice about this James Hardy siding, it only takes about one coat because it's already been primed. And this, this stuff will last. I've had homes up to 25 years before they've ever had to paint their house. And even then it's probably not necessary. So it's a great product to use, James Hardy. Okay, I'm gonna go entice Ricardo and his guys with some donuts. Amigos, you ready for a donut break? All right, Ricardo's the last one. He only, since he's up on the ladder. What do you think? These are good. Thank you. You bet. Sorry, Ricardo, we just ran out. What? Man. Yeah, sorry, I'll be right back. Here, there's one with the bite taken out of it. No, I got one there, a big grande. Oh, the big, big one, that's, the, what, that's gonna be that, mine. That's, a, look, it's the size of your head. That's huge. Well, you have a little head. Look at that. Yeah, nice shiny one. All right. So we have two more. You decide on who gets them. Okay, amigos? Thank you. So we got the door to the garage is white. Front door is black. Garage, Blanco, Negro. And that, one, that one's white? That one's white. And this big front door, black. See? Okay. All right. All right. Look at, look at the bling this guy's wearing. He's got uh, tape for, I know. For Christmas, I'm gonna get you something a little better. The blue, it goes better with your eyes, the blue tape. Yeah, because this is not too shiny. No, it no. It's something shiny. Yeah, like, he like, we all like shiny stuff. Shiny girls, shiny <laughs> necklaces. All right, okay, I'll keep you working by getting out of the way. Adios. Ralph, I got a job for you. I need you to keep an eye on those guys when they're uh, doing their sight work. Can you wear my hat? That looks really good on you, Ralph. Hey, Ralphie, here's some more grass. I'll feed you all the grass you need, but I need my hat back. I'll get you your own. This one's mine. Deal? Thanks, man. I'm counting on you. All right, so all the house is painted, and you can see they got the pool painted lines on the ground where the pool's going to be going. They've got everything material set up. I'm not sure what exactly is going on with those big stones on where they're going. I know this wall right here is what's going to hold up the driveway. That is going to be all those huge slabs of stone and I'm gonna drive you guys right over top of the pool right now. We are now officially in the pool. Let's hop out. Oh, they got a fire pit. All kinds of interesting stuff going on. All kinds of fun stuff going on out here at Flares. So the outside of the house is all painted. What do you guys think? I love that black accent trim. That's a, a big thing that we've done years ago is where we'll take the fascia, that's the front, and then we go back under the soffit. A lot of people miss that. They'll just paint the face, the face of it, but when you return it back, that's one big piece. And another way it's been described to me is it kind of feels like it anchors the house and it picks up the black around the windows. Just that little accent makes everything pop. And I love the contrasting cedar colors. There are a few more pieces that I have to get Eugenio back here to finish around the deck. So we're just about there, a few more pieces of stone. So when they get back here at the pool and these guys are working at my house, I'll have them come over and that's when they'll finish up because the job's so far away, they always hate to make the trip to come out just for a 30 minute job if they can do it all at one time and flares are agreeable to that. So when they start at my house, we'll bring them back over here to finish. Here's the part that looks fantastic. Yeah. The beam situation. Remember we I misordered a beam? Oh, there. I remember, yeah. You remember that? No, yeah, I okay. do. But it doesn't matter because it looks good now. Oh, so there That's are, all there that are some memories of the aches and pains of building. Do you have a favorite part? I mean, when people come Ooh. in, what are are they, do we have a wow effect? Do you I would say the wow effect is in, a, in effect. Yeah. yeah, I think I think we did pretty good with this. Yeah. Everyone always comes in and says, wow, they yeah. like it, yeah. Did it, does it feel bigger, the house, than when we looked at the blueprints for oh, the yeah. last time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot bigger than yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be this big, looking at the blueprints. I know. It's, it, yeah. It, it's deceiving. Lot, I feel like it's a good size. Like, I don't feel lost. I don't feel like if I have to go from one area to the house to the other, I'm out of breath. It's not, like, too big. I feel like it's plenty big for us. 
where I can feel like we can grow into it and not have to like upgrade down the road. Okay. Like if I'm by myself, I don't feel like I'm in this big like lonely house, you know? It's, you, it feels cozy. But can you still communicate or do you have to go, Macy? I, yeah, I do have to yell, okay. depending on which, which area I'm in, especially if I'm in the lower level. Yeah, then, I, then, I gotta, then I really gotta yell. Then you gotta text. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. So, so this bomb. is kind of like your little escape. You can yes. kind of do your own I thing. I can come in here and send an work. email and I've got the surveillance yeah, look at this. going on right now. So at any, at any moment. And then the kitchen, I'm guessing my wife's favorite part yeah. is over here. I like I it too. To it is Macy, nice. 10 foot ceilings and it vaults up to 11 foot with all that. Uh, yeah. I think that's a. Uh, the, all the wood all up the there. Alderwood ceiling. Mm -hmm. Nice. Holder. So. Yeah. All the under counter. There's no outlets on your backsplash. Yeah. Everything's underneath here. Oh yeah. The butler's pantry is pretty nice. Well, let's take yeah. a look yeah. at that. So, so here's the all the glass. We, we always leave this pretty much open, but it is the, it is nice, especially if Brooklyn's hungry and wants to. She knows where the snacks are. Oh, she so does. occasionally, well, now she knows how to operate the door, so we gotta figure something else out. But. <laughs> Little girl with my own heart, you gotta go where the snacks are at. Yeah, so Butler's really is, Pantry. This has got as many cabinets in your pantry as what most people have in their kitchen. Yeah. So you really have, this is two kitchens. Pretty much two. Man cave is another one. Yeah. The bar downstairs, so. You, you, there's several, yeah. Look at that sucker. Sheesh. And that thing holds 250 pounds. Yeah, we put it, we put it to the test for the jerky too. Oh, did, did Banjo? Oh, yeah. Has he ridden it up? Ban yet? We did not let Banjo on there. No. <laughs> That's funny. This is a good, another good investment. I've used it about every, at least once a week. This is something I. You might need to invest in something like this. That's an electric power washer. That's it. Yeah. Not for the dogs. No. Just clear that out. We're not power oh, washing dogs. Oh no. But no, no. It's for the, the garage floors to make it easy. So you get dirt, especially in the winter in here and so it's hooked up to this which has hot water so you can do a hot power wash in the winter if you want it to be and it's got a 150 foot retractable hose nice. and you can just power wash your garage out without having the, the different fittings yeah you don't have to have a gas power washer and then we got another super size heater so yep this thing should be cooking in the winter hopefully yeah you got the ac and the heat there yep. and here yep and then uh is this got that's the old fly trap. fly trap the flies are figuring it out but i suppose all you got to do is sit your trash can underneath and here, just you're good to go and drop her down we need yeah. your oversized garage doors yep i mean this is a full-size suv in here and it, it look at how much room there, yeah you can fit three two f-250s in here pretty good size spend the afternoons hanging out over here because it's always shaded so the sun's the sun's almost gone over here already yeah, this in is the, the morning, morning which sun. is nice because you get early. the morning sun so it warms up but we've got this brooklyn loves it up here because there's no there's no steps she can't it's fall safe. over she can't yeah she can't do anything so she can't escape it's yeah. almost like you're outside but you're not so this is the master <laughs> I love the wall color. I remember when we started the beginning designing, Macy wanted this little seating area yeah. over here because the ceiling uh, is tops a little short yeah. to allow this light fixture to come down. I, I like sitting here. We'll sit here and look outside and hang out here. Yeah. It's kind of nice to be able to have something. We got a TV, his and hers closets. Macy's got a closet in there. That is She's nice. got all of her clothes hung Very up. Very organized, and, Macy. Looks yeah, I say good. mine's not going to be nearly oh, that no. organized. No, well, you're still not even unpacked. It no, like. I, I still got saran wrap over my dresser. Okay, but. so tell me about this electric toilet. So when you, if you work? walk in, it greets you. And it just went up when you. Yeah, I didn't touch anything. Door. Yeah. And it already knows. Does pre, it know pre, what you're going to be doing? Pre sprays and gets you going. Yeah, it's ready to rock. Does it read your mind or does it? And then oh. there's a there's a remote here. You can make it do all sorts of things. You can spray. You can dry, you can adjust the spray, you can have it pulse, you can have it do a bunch of stuff, and you can have like player one and player two. You know what I'm saying? So, so which sink is yours? This one's mine. Down here? Yep. All right. Yep, so this is my sink, her sink, heated floors, if you can oh, feel it. Oh, I can it. feel the floors nice That's, and warm. And, and even, in, even in the summer, you it's think nice. That you would like that. It's, it's nice, even in the summer. Our infamous tub. There, here that, it is, yeah. the 700 pounder. It's, I've, I've in it actually more than you would think. I think Ooh, it turned out pretty good. Thing. It is huge. Yeah, it's got big. the ceiling spray, yeah. the wall spray, and the then hand spray. The Mr. Microphone spray. That's right. That's, All right. It's like a car wash effect yeah. when you turn everything on at once. You don't have to move, you just stand there. You stand still. And, and um, it just get, it gets every crevice. A lot of times people build big homes, but they only live in one certain part. Yeah. You really are able to live in the whole main floor. Yeah. And the downstairs is a whole nother. Yep. 
Yeah, so we can head downstairs. Okay. This is the lower level. We have yet to do yeah. anything down here, but that's- That is a big couch. It, it's a large couch, yeah. So we had this stuff at the old house, so we set it in here. I mean, it gets used every once in a while, but yeah. not not enough, clearly. Well, what's so. nice about this room, you've got these views looking out the pool, the, so you don't feel like you're down in a dungeon. No, yeah, it is nice. To work out, you got room for a TV on the wall. All right, so then through here, this is the movie theater room. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, look who's on. That's, wow. Oh, look at that. That's is a, that always streaming? It, 24 hours a day. Flare. Gotta get the views up somehow, you know, <laughs> just gotta. Right. Just gotta keep it going. So yeah, movie theater room turned out really good. So this room, it's a good size, and we have the indirect light tray. You did the projector. It's got all the all the drinks, and then we've got all, all this the snacks. Yeah, I guess. Wow. It's like going to the movies. It you is you don't have to. Go. You don't. No one goes to movie theaters anymore. So we well, got the popcorn. You got popcorn. Look, we've got fre freshly popped popcorn in there. Oh, we can go to the other okay. the other wing. I guess you could call it. So here's the big custom glass sliding door we did. And the idea behind this, since this is your Four Seasons room, yep. you know, like right now in the, in the summer or whatever, winter, you want to leave it open to enjoy it all. But yeah. Get those, when your pool's done, it's going to be 90 and 100 degrees out. Yeah. You close this and open up all these doors with your own heating cooling system. Yep. You can come and go and all that hot air does not go through your hole. Got it. Yeah. No, that's going to be, that'll be super nice for everybody to come and go. And it'll feel like this is just an extension of the backyard. You come into the bar and get a drink and some food, some snacks. I mean, there's an ice machine. Oh yeah, you there's all ice. sorts. There's all sorts of good stuff. You show them this yet? Oh yeah, your big nano wall. So I've been I've been scared to use it. Oh yeah, don't be scared. It's ready to go. There's a push. Oh, was it was it locked? Was it unlocked already? No, lift up. Oh. oh it pushes out. We got oh. We got a hose on the way. Oh, I see. Actually, it all comes this towards you. There we go. And then that opens up. Push it again. So soon, that dirt will be pool decking. So that is going to be cool to be able to just walk to the yeah, pool from there. And then here. I flip these doors around so this one opens up, and then that one opens up because they were going the wrong way. So now you have all this open air yeah. coming into this. This is going to be sweet. Shaded. It yeah. should be not a four season. It should really, I always like to call it more like a beach club. Yeah, yeah. I really like this. Was, although it was a little pricey. A little pricey. Turned out pretty cool. Got a little mini game room back yeah, there. I, I had no place to put this from the last house, but I figured this would be good. And then eventually, maybe like a dartboard could go here. Yeah, you got so people could basically kind of just come back in here and be loud and shut the door so they don't disturb everybody else. Because like this kiddos. door, which is shown, we just made a circle. This goes right back into the Yeah, goes right into, into the, the bar. Beach club. Yep. So this door can be left open, come and go. Come and go, yep. Yeah. Games, but then it goes yep. into so yeah, really yeah. Cool. To, to the sports court under the garage. That is something we added to the design, right? To yep. That. So it's starting to be. It's, it's, it, it, we haven't done much to it, but it's here at least. You are in a concrete bunker. Yeah. Like any any tornadoes come, yeah, this is where you'll find me. I think those walls are 12 or 14 inch thick of concrete. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Impressive. This turned out really good. So we're excited. This is, I'm saving this for a winter, okay. a winter project. One book. I need to buy more books, but as of right now, just one book in a uh, not suspicious bookcase that opens into what I think is one of the coolest gun rooms. Wow, okay, come on in. There we go. This has got to be the coolest. This is the coolest room in the house by far. I mean, come on now. Oh, yeah. This is tough to beat. Holy cow. I haven't had any water, no, so we're good. We're good. We well, haven't had any rain. That's also true. Yeah, we, we haven't <laughs> had any rain. I think I know we got to fix it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Positive. You've got still got room to go. I mean, you've, oh, that is a huge collection of yeah. guns. I didn't know I had this many until this we set them all out like come this. Come out of your backyard? That was at the backyard of the old house. That was the first cow I trapped with a foothold. These, what's the story behind this little The guy? badger, that was at one of the, the farms, the old farms. We just trapped him, trying to catch, trying to catch him. And then these, these, these guys came from Africa. This is a warthog and a wildebeest. You shot all these? Mm-hmm. It's like and it means if you hunt that or it's going to hunt you. Exactly. Yep. Then, got a couple of deer. and. Where's the freak? He's up in the man cave. Oh, he's he got to be the star of the show oh, for the I catching see. cooks. Okay. Yeah. Someone sent me a book, so it doesn't look so suspicious. Lots of pictures. Yeah. We need lots of books. No, no. So. Because who wants to read? Yeah, I know. All right. Well, so we got we, one last thing. Oh, yeah. We got to go to the favorite part. So we're going to move our way upstairs to the man, man cave. cave. All right, boys. The Ooh. man cave. Here what do you, it is. What do you think? You asked, you asked about him. Oh, there's the freak. Here he is, the okay. freak. And this here is this one. Well, he's big, and that's just... Uh, yeah. What the heck is it's that? Called, it's called drop tie. They're, they're not all that common. Oh. So when you get them, they're, they're pretty special. So you put them on the wall, and you give them a name. Yep. Chef it up, cook. You got oven down 
You do have a I didn't figure out how that works oh, yet. It just starts. Just the on button. Yeah, so we've got tons of cabinets. It's still kind of a mess, like everything else, but mm -hmm. this came out of the backyard of the old house. No kidding. Yeah, right are... in the backyard. And then this was Africa, not the backyard. Wow. So I didn't yeah. realize you've been to Africa and hunted all these yeah. things. Yeah. Here's the hat rack that we, we, we found. We found the hats yesterday. Oh, oh. They were in a box in the shop. I still need a YouTube, like the YouTube stuff to be here because that's where we're doing most of the filming. So we took a lot of the stuff and took it to the warehouse, but. I still have my computer where I'll sit and do some edits and stuff like that. Camera gear always stays here. We've got just a big table, conference table for us to sit and hang out. But. All right, before we leave, this one, one last secret door. Another add-on, another after the fact, another not in the blueprint. Oh, that's all right. You said you looked up and saw in the attic. What's we gonna do with all that space? That was, I think that was on camera when I said that too. Yeah. Like the moment I realized we should do something here was we were filming and I was like, why don't we do something up here? Yeah. And you're like, because it's a ranch and you don't have two stories in ranches. And I was like, well, I still feel like we should do something. Yeah, so we, we did something. Look at all this room. Yeah, so, so this, this is the, this is the storage room. Plan either. Yeah, so remember the elevator that you guys saw come down earlier? That's where this goes. So when you set stuff on the elevator, you come up and then you can see this is all the holiday decorations and extra stuff. And then we still have, we still need one more shelf here. Andrew, that's, your, that's the tour. One, I want to thank you and Macy for allowing me to be your guide to build your house because yeah. that's a big trust factor. It is It is big trust, but we knew you were, it, same goes for us though. We have to be able to trust somebody and, and we feel like you were easy to work with the whole time. And anytime I wanted to add something, which seemed like about every week, you just said, no problem, we'll figure it out. Yeah, which is nice because now I do have my actual dream house. Oh, well, good. They always turn out, I hope, better than what you had thought in the beginning. Yeah, oh, it did, so, 100%. Uh, guys, what do you think? This thing turned out beautiful. I hope you enjoyed that. This was such a pleasure to work with Andrew and Macy. I wish more people were just like them. They gave me the control that I needed and I was able to give them, I hope, everything that they wanted in a house. So let me know what you guys thought of this entire process. Let me know if there's anything that you would change besides the weather, but it's pretty beautiful right here in Nebraska. That's why we live here. We get all the seasons and soon they'll be enjoying their backyard with this new pool. So thanks for watching. I'm Brad the Builder. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next job site.